Good morning fellas, I hope you are feeling good, it is about the time to start our journey, so let's get moving. to share some beautiful views of the Lithuanian fields. Traveling with the car while sun is rising is just awesome. We are leaving wet Lithuania and travel towards sunny Corfu Island. After a couple of hours drive from Klaipeda to Vilnius, it is time to fly from Vilnius to Corfu. Flight is not very comfortable, so I need to find other source of entertainment. We just landed and now we are traveling with a bus to the hotel. On the way, we are catching some city views for you. Fellas, you might wonder what we are doing here. Well, the first and the most important thing is look at those beautiful views there. And the second part is we really want to show you uh, the restaurant to which we are going to go uh, in a minute. Well, for you, maybe in a second, then you will see stunning views from the up the mountains. So let's teleport there. just about to go to eat but we decided to stop in this well-known place for epic jumps. George told us in here you can experience the coldest water on the whole island. Since for the whole day it was above 30 degrees, George went for a cold jump himself. Today we are going to meet with one of the local baboons and I believe this is going to be a great day. So let's teleport into the future. Today we are visiting the local Greek restaurant called Taverna Duca with George. If you are in the neighborhood, make sure to stop by because the food here is excellent. It was the best food for sure that we had on the whole trip. And 
this is the most exciting thing speaking about the food. A real Greek Corfu tavern located in the middle of the mountains. Food is definitely epic there. Good day fellas, I hope you are doing great and today we have a treat for you. Today we are going to showcase some uh, local Greek food here in Kondofu, uh, Corfu Island and I want to present you our local baboon, George. Hello, nice guys. to meet you, George. <laughs> so, George, what do we have now on the table? Well, on the table we have a Greek salad and tzatziki. Thing is with Greek salad, it has feta cheese, that is Greek cheese, and tomatoes, cucumber, olive oils, and cremini. <laughs> I am, <laughs> and I am very, very curious to taste uh, it and to check out how everything is going to look like because I am not a big fan of the um, goat cheese. But we will see how everything is looking like here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. So let's start with the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, baboon went out of the zoo, okay? What do you expect, fellas? Okay, fellas, it is about the time to test out the cheese and like I said before, I'm not a big fan of the goat cheese, but we'll see, maybe my opinion will change. I mean, it tastes like a goat cheese. <laughs> I hate onion. I can tell you one very important thing. It tastes so much better when you are mixing it up um, uh, with a uh, with the vegetables vegetables are kind of splitting the flavor uh, the flavor and it tastes so much better for me and once again i am being honest i am saying what i like and what i don't like so we are back with a fork of tzatziki let's see this is the best tzatziki which i tasted and i can promise you that the tzatziki which we had in the hotel it's not even close to that this is a real thing it has much more garlic the cucumber is looking so much better too and um, and the flavor is just better better profile thumbs up for me i don't know how about you but i want to taste more food uh and now we have cheese what kind of cheese do we have i think it's cassavi and it's deep fried deep fried cheese deep fried let's cheese. let's dig into this fellas i will cheers mm. Mm. wow it is a bit chewy quite salty but if you would get this um, this cheese as a um, snack with a beer, you would love it. This is going to be a hard day. <laughs> Fellas, we are back with a simple fries. This is not the right way how to eat them, although I will taste them. But our local friend said, you know what, still, you are doing that wrong. If you are eating fries without tzatziki, you are crazy. How to spell that? Tzatziki. Absolutely, yes, that one. So let's go. Mm. Mm. It made fries so much better. Mm. We are back, fellas, with a sausage. Uh, since I'm from village, I know how to hold it properly. Cheers. Wow. Mm. Mm. Okay, the crust of the sausage is absolutely amazing. There is shit ton of spices, which is making the sausage a bit spicy, but not by much. And the taste is just absolutely amazing. Plus, it's made on grill which is looking absolutely amazing man this is a feast mm -hmm. this is a feast and everything what we are tasting here obviously everything is local right we did not went for a um some kind of tourist trap place or something we went uh, to the local place which is located in the mountain tell us we have some cheese and we are going to put that on the rabbit i assume this is rabbit or not really? this is pasticada pasticada and it's, what it is made of well it's made of pasta veal and the special ingredient here in Sinkofu it's a spice called Spitzeriko. Spitzeriko it is. Let's see how we are going to mix this thing up. Let's go. I am back with a treat. You saw how everything was mixed? And let's give it a go. Mm. 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 This is absolutely amazing. I think this is the best dish which we had so far. Pasta is perfectly cooked. It is not, not overcooked. Speaking about the sauce itself, it is it has very very small kick into it, but it is very very good. Plus, um, I assume this is a very very tender beef. It is pretty much it is very very easy to separate it, and it looks absolutely amazing. For example, taking it in the hand, you don't need any powers whatsoever, and it just 
simply dropping off uh, the bone if there would be a bone, right? We are getting the experience there, fellas. Beautiful. 10 out of 10 from my side. Holy fucking shit, this is amazing. And fellas, we are back with a local beer mythos. Let's test it out. Cheers. Tastes like a beer. Kimas. Wow, I did not expect that. So pretty much there is a lot of meat, vegetables, potatoes and everything. Let's give it a go. What's how this hot? Not yet. Let's, <laughs> let's give it away. Okay, fellas, let's pretend the last cutter which you saw that or last uh, shot, I suppose to say, uh, never ever existed. Uh, and now when it is uh, a bit more cool, let's test it out. Mm. Mm. We have a potato topping on top. And after that we have a very very nice quality meat. It is looking absolutely amazing. Going through the all food which we had, honestly, I must admit the best dish was the pasta with... Pastitava with a veal. It was absolutely amazing. Rabbit was also very very strong. In the same time, fries was amazing with the tzatziki. We had sausages, we had so many things. And thank you very much for showing us this amazing my pleasure, place. Man. My pleasure. One of the best days too was the boat trip. As you can see, views are astonishing and you can see my fat baboon ass jumping from the boat. Good day fellas, we have a surprise for you today. Take a look at this beauty. You will, uh, you can expect quite some views. If you will ever be in Corfu, I would highly recommend to rent the boat. And the video came to an end, fellas. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have a couple of things which I want to talk about it. Uh, for example, how we enjoyed the trip and I can tell you that, fellas, Corfu is amazing. But one thing which I definitely want to uh, highlight it is amazing for traveling, right? Uh, don't get yourself expensive hotel because traveling, uh, then you will feel like you are wasting money if that makes sense. Um, we spent there for one week um, and once again, every single day was buzzy SF and uh, luckily we met uh, beautiful people like uh, Nicolo and George. We had absolutely amazing time and it's always nice to meet with you fellas. So whenever we are going to go to the different uh, destination, uh, we are definitely going to mention this and if someone will want to meet with us, uh, uh, there is no problem whatsoever and we can definitely do that. Speaking about the whole video itself leave the comment uh how did you like it because this is completely different approach there we are uh, quite a bit of cuts and everything so i would be very very happy for you to leave the comment down below how did you enjoy it yourself and uh, uh where do we need to improve and i believe you noticed that in some situations the camera wasn't focusing whatsoever and yeah we are working and we are trying to figure out how to master the camera properly which is very important thing so thank you very much for watching it was vacations from Corfu and see you very, very soon. Skill is out. Peace.